On the 14th of March, about 12.30, the Sheriff's Office received a call from Castlewood Country Club in regards to a body that one of their workers had found after inquiring, uh, getting an inquiry from a daughter of uh, one of the possible victims. The worker from Castlewood looked into one of the windows, saw the male subject who now today has been positively identified as Ernest F. Shear. He's age 60, living at the uh, address at 18 Castlewood Drive in Pleasanton, unincorporated Pleasanton. Upon seeing Mr. Shear, uh, he uh, immediately had his uh, receptionist call uh, 911 to request the sheriff's office respond to that location. We responded out to that location. Uh, we made entry into the house uh, to check on uh, Mr. Shear's condition when we found a second victim whose name is Charlene Abendroth. It's A-B-E-N-D-R-O-T-H. She's in fact Mr. Shear's wife of 31 years. Uh, she was uh, found in close proximity to Mr. Shear in the house. Uh, I appreciate the fact uh, that everybody has been patient with us. You have to understand, however, uh, <coughs> that this is in fact a double homicide. It is not a murder-suicide. It is a double homicide. At this point here, uh, we are still today have our crime lab going over the uh, crime scene, the inside of the house, the outside of the house, for uh, any forensic evidence that may be located or may have been located in the house. Um, the house is uh, a two-story house. It's approximately 4,000 plus square feet. Uh, there's multiple rooms in the house. You can understand, hopefully, uh, the time it would take us to uh, develop and process the crime scene. At this point here, uh, we are in fact asking uh, anybody that may have in information in regards to this uh, double murder to contact us. Uh, at the family's request, they have offered a $25,000 reward for information on this homicide uh, that would lead to the arrest and conviction of the persons or persons uh, responsible for this crime. I can tell you, and I'm not going to get into too much information in regards to uh, uh, particulars as far as the autopsy. However, I will tell you that both uh, victims, both Ernest and Charlene, uh, were brutally beaten inside the house. At this point here, we have uh, several leads that we're looking into in regards to uh, possibly who may be responsible to, for this. Uh, it's at the very early stages of the investigation. Uh, my crew, along with uh, several other detectives from other uh, units, have been working pretty much nonstop on this since Friday. Uh, I will uh, answer limited questions in regards to this uh, incident. However, uh, because of the integrity of the investigation, I may not be able to answer, uh, give too many specifics. The only thing before I take the questions is uh, both uh, the, the Shears uh, have requested, uh, the children of the Shears have requested that you, the media, do not try to contact them. As you can well imagine, it is a very, very difficult time. Uh, they do, in fact, have a son and daughter, adult son and daughter, who are devastated by this murder. Uh, I would like to stand up here and say at this point here, just because uh, we've been asked by the other residents of Castlewood if this is a random incident or do we in fact uh, think it was related definitely to them. Unfortunately, because this is only the fourth day of the investigation, I cannot tell whether it's random or my crew can't tell whether it's random or not. At this point here, if uh, originally we had requested from the media that they uh, assist us in trying to establish a timeline um, when the last time both Ernest and Charlene were seen alive, 
We think we have established that timeline, and this is extremely important. If you people would not, uh, it would be a great help in our investigation if this could be put out. We believe uh, the last point that we can track them, we believe they left the Castlewood Country Club from a dinner at approximately 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. on March 7th. Uh, we were believed they were killed sometime after leaving that dinner when they returned to their house after 8 o'clock. Uh, and Mr. Shear had missed a meeting that he had scheduled for Saturday morning. So we're fairly confident that the homicides occurred sometime after 8 o'clock on March 7th um, into the morning of March 8th, uh, sometime along then. We have requested the citizens of Castlewood um, through canvases that we've done. We've handed out questionnaires uh, to try to go back to that time period and, and recall if they had seen any uh, individuals that uh, were not known to the area or any suspicious cars. And, and again, I'm putting that out um, as a plea for the public, please, to come forward with that information. Uh, as those of you who have been up in that area, there's only one way in Castlewood, and there's only one way out, pretty much, to get down to the main road. Um, that could be a, a, a huge factor for us in attempting to solve this double homicide.